Welcome back, Chargers. We hope you had an awesome weekend. On today's show, we'll be talking about volunteer opportunities, colleges, and football's big win against San Luis Obispo. I'm Alyssa. And I'm Sophia. And, and you're, you're watching, watching DP, DP News. News. Along with the five colleges visiting today, there are also five colleges visiting tomorrow. Harvey Mudd College, Westmont College, Corbin University, Bates College, and Santa Clara University are all coming tomorrow. To find information about the colleges coming today and tomorrow, visit the Career Center. In order to see one of these colleges, you must get a pass from inside the Career Center and have your teacher sign up beforehand. Bus passes are still being sold every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can only get them during lunch or after school. The zoo is still accepting volunteer applications for the annual Boo at the Zoo event. You can either dress up as a character for the event or be part of the crew. Visit the, visit the zoo's website to apply. Remember the CSU College Fairs this Wednesday in Pasadena. You'll have access to all 23 California State Universities at the same time and will be able to meet with campus reps, get answers to any questions you have, and attend CSU admission and financial aid workshops. To get more information, visit the Daily Bulletin on our school's website. Before we go, how about a riddle? Sure. What can you catch but not throw? I don't know. What can you catch but not throw? A cold. Ha! That's perfect since lots of people seem to be getting sick this year. Make sure to wash your hands often and bring a pack of tissues in case you or someone else needs them. It really helps to minimize the amount of germs being spread. That's it for us Chargers. <laughs> now we're going to get away. Good morning, Chargers. Over the weekend, boys water polo competed at the South Coast Tournament, finishing with three wins and two losses, putting their overall record at 5-5. Five and five. In Game 1, sophomore Dylan Beanstalk notched an assist in his varsity debut. In Game 2, freshman Ethan Parrish scored five goals. In Game 3, senior Taylor Locke recorded his first varsity goal. In Game 5, goalie Ben Cable had 17 saves and three steals. And to finish off the tournament, junior Jason Tang had one goal, one assist, and three steals in Game 5. Water Polo's next game is Thursday at Santa Barbara, so be sure to go support the boys as they open up league play. Cross Country hosted the 49th annual DP Invite at Shoreline Park on Friday. The team had a great showing featuring wins from Emmy Wittenbach in the sophomore girls race with a time of 21-24 and Hunter Clark in the senior boys race with, race with a time of 15-39. Football stayed undefeated at home thanks to a rowdy gold mine and an outstanding performance from senior Blake Irwin. Irwin had four touchdowns. Yeah, dude, four touchdowns. Do you know how crazy that is? Blake scored more touchdowns in that one game than I've scored the entire season. Actually, four is more than the amount of plays I've been on the field for this year, but that's, that's for a different time. Junior receiver Michael Obert caught a 16-yard pass to put the Chargers up 21-6 at half. Quick note on Michael, he's actually a really good person, and I know this for a fact because he told me that this morning. Junior receiver Cyrus Wallace finished with nine catches for 71 yards and had a touchdown. Quick note on Cyrus, he did not tell me he's a good person this morning. On the defensive side of the ball, senior defensive end Marcellus Gossett recovered a fumble and returned it for a touchdown. Football travels to undefeated Wainimi on Friday, to be so be sure to wish them luck. That's all I have for you today, DP. As always, I'm Caleb, and we are DP. Now over to Skye, who's going to tell you it's hot, and Lindsay with a really lame joke that she found on the internet this morning. Hey DP, what's up? The Sky, because I'm Sky with your weather report. And I'm Lindsay with your surf report and joke of the day. Hey Sky, why did Adele cross the street? I don't know, why did Adele cross the street? To say hello from the other side. Ha! Huh? Good one, Lindsay. Today's temperatures will be a high of 98 degrees and a low of 63 degrees with 23% humidity, along with 12 mile per hour winds. Tomorrow's temperatures will be a little cooler with a high of 84 degrees and a low of 62 degrees with 44% humidity. 
and eight mile per hour winds. So make sure that you wear cool attire tomorrow. After school today, the tide will go up especially high at Shoreline Beach. So make sure to hit the beach after school and shred the gnar, my friends. That's all we have for you today, DP. Have, have a superb day. day.